Hello and welcome everyone, Jake389 here, Twitch's favorite Nine Tails. I'm finally alive. Sorry for being delayed. Hopefully I can forget about everything that's happened today. I am not in the best of moods right now. And this next part of the game is supposed to be happy and cheery. Slippy Steps, new game. Yeah. I mean, I've been playing it for the last couple weeks. Maybe a month, actually. I mean, I should load games so I don't have to be going back and forth. Let me check when I started the game. March 5th. So it's almost been a month since I started the game. Yes, I remember you from Red Nebula's Red Nebula Pictures Discord. Jay, thank you for the host. <clears throat> I'm just trying to calm down right now. I've come so far, yeah. Thank you for noticing. Damn it, didn't scare you. No, I'm high. I'm on high alert tonight, Mayj. responding to Morris because he's the one that has put me in a bad mood, so let's get into this. Oh my gosh, now you have a song stuck in your head? What's the song?
it's from Azure Lane. Are you able to post a link in chat? I'm not sure if I disabled that or not. Megalovania? What's that? The song? You can deem it to me, okay. Oh, it's an Undertale song? I know a little bit about Undertale. I've seen playthroughs, but I'm not a, too big of a fan of it. I know it exists. I like it, but that's about the extent of it. If I play this, Mate J, will it be caught by copyright? I don't think I should. Let's see. What is that? <laughs> Looks like a trailer to some game. I don't get it. At first I thought it was like sounding off with the similar beats to what the song is playing in Persona right now. It's a song from a game. Okay. Well. It's like a meme song? I see. Okay, let's quit hanging around and let's just do something. Mm. I forget exactly what I'm gonna what I'm supposed to do. But yeah, sorry for being in a bad mood, guys. You're all having hot pot dip for dinner. Wanna join us? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, as you should be. Food always tastes better with friends. Her name was On, right? She's a nice girl. She said your friend's friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Well then. Anyway, I should have a big pot somewhere around here. Oh, so you're just gonna make me 
do a fetch quest. Is that it? There are only coffee machines left here. Oh, that's on the counter. Weird. There's a huge pot of curry here. This seems to be the... Oh. Wonder if there's a suitable pot in here. Am I supposed to be looking? I found an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from shop for, for sh bleh, to get back from their shopping trip. So I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? Fire. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. His last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. Wait a second. That's her mom? School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Okay, I was Are gonna you say tired? sis. You're probably lacking sodium. I was gonna say sis next. Sister, next. Like, because I thought from the conversations with the principal that the sister was no longer around. So I wasn't gonna say sister, but then I was just double questioning myself so I said mom but then I was like but sister I thought the sister wasn't around but she is okay I'm more worried about you sis are you tired you're probably lacking sodium do I seem so but hypothetically speaking if these phantom thieves are real I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Good question. Thank you, Heavy, for the lurk. Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman, yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now... Yes. Mhm, mm it's fine. Oh, that oh, case. Frick. Yes. Mhm, mm it's fine. Oh, that case. 
What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. Wait, is that on the TV or in her mind? What do I want to do? Ooh, Makoto. Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <laughs> have to borrow the sofa fine by me what kind of leap was that <laughs> what what's wrong Yusuke were they checking out her ass <laughs> that was so subtle I didn't even understand until she shooed them away we haven't finished our meal what about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? <laughs> It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know on? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. <laughs> you would think, usually, the good-looking people just end up with the popular kids. So this is interesting how she's the outcast. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. My thoughts exactly. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. Fair. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. Got called out of school because she was in college, right? All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. Mm. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. Yeah. School's never been equal. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. <laughs> Again with this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. I thought Ryuji has. Damn brat! 
Oh, he is the same guy. If you keep this up. What if that's Ryuji's mom? <laughs> I doubt it, but still. So many weird coincidences. Then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? Or is she a prostitute? All I have to say is that you did it on your own, and it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No. Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? He manipulated her. If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... I don't know if this one is true, though. Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Oh, no. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. Bastard. And this man got injured. Can't the frickin' cops understand by her tone of voice that she's been being manipulated? Like... Shouldn't people understand these things? Look, observe other people's behavior and tone of voice and all of this to see what the real truth is. That's what pisses me off. It's as she says. Welcome back, Slippy Steps. Also. Make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Ready was playing Turok? Oh, he's still on. I'm gonna give him a lurk. Hey, cop him. Understood. Oh, Red just got off. Okay. <laughs> just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. I wouldn't call her horrible. And that's a bit of victim blaming. I think she's a victim too. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? But we already ran into him. But I understand we can't really... ...say what he looks like. Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This 
world is so messed up. The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want. And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Mm-hmm. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. <laughs> I like Yusuke's thought process there. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. Let's not forget all this while On is asleep. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. Oh, Yusuke. What are you guys getting all excited about? <laughs> Morning, sleepyhead. Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. I kind of figured that. The way she was sitting or lying, laying. She had her head on her hand, so it looked like she was paying attention more. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. Igor? It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Did she just have a dream where she went and talked to Igor? Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Rehabilitation? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. You're probably going to be surprised. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? Hmm. I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. Here's a weird thought. Or, uh, theory. What if a Mementos is Morgana's palace? Because if they have to go through Mementos to get Morgana's memories back, doesn't that mean that Morgana's heart is connected to Mementos? No doubt. Hm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. Hmm. Now I have nothing to theorize about that. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. you guys out for my own sake don't get me wrong if you don't get stronger investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream that sure was a quick turnaround one second you're depressed the next you're acting all tough all joking aside let's take this seriously we should go as far with it as we can I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Oh, Konami, you might stream tonight? Oh, yeah? Uh, what are you gonna stream? Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. 
We should be all right with you as our leader. <laughs> Fine. Whoa, it's this late? Yeah, it's pretty late. Ginger Scammer. Lurk. Love this game. Enjoy your stream. Thank you. Depending on the baby. Might do something easy like Crypt or Crypt of Necro Dancer. I see. Fun. I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. <laughs> That's right, he did. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. Older Dude Charmer, what the hell? No. Don't even want her to charm me. <laughs> I do, but I don't know. What kind of nickname is that? Exactly. Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. <laughs> yeah, about that. I'm the same way. But... There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, yeah. The bathhouse. Where you have to pay money. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? But then again, is the bathhouse cheaper than monthly water bill? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Wait, what did Ryuji ask? Oh, yeah, they all want to go to the bathhouse. Of course he asked on. Well, good night, Morgana. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. <laughs> what do you mean? I can't let her get taken by someone else. Oh. This is all going to be a swerve. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. I'm probably just going to repeat that because I want to finish my thought. It's all going to be a swerve because the lover's arcana is with On, and if we keep boosting that up with our main character, then it turns out that Morgana is actually human, and On is supposed to be with Morgana. It's just going to be so screwed. Ah, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. <laughs> oh, this conversation. She's a great teammate. Nah. Let's... Let's be honest. We're thirsty. Oh, you straight up said it. Well, in her case, her looks totally make up for her overbearing personality. <laughs> really, dude? I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. <laughs> don't think he's gonna like that. No, oh, please don't. Seriously. <laughs> that aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. Ryuji's so scared. About that though, is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. <laughs> I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Still. Ah, 
It's freaking hot! <laughs> How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! <laughs> Ryuji's like me an hour ago. <laughs> Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. Hey. Did something happen? Aren't you going to sleep yet? It'll be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison. Wow. <sighs> I'm going to protect my sleeping beauty no matter what it takes. <laughs> but I'm still awake. Whoa! I'm not talking about you. Wait, don't you strap on me. <laughs> Either you guys need to, to get stronger or leave Lady On's safety to me. <laughs> if there's one Phantom Thief creed you should remember, it's that you need to protect the ones you love. Anymore? No. That's hilarious. Okay. Let's go to sleep. I'm glad I got that little extra. Um, flavor text. You needn't, needn't worry about breakfast for to me mar tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society. In other words, you're picaresque. Deepen your bonds with them. Picaresque? What does that mean? Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. So he's kind of hinting at them being connected to us and how On fell asleep and said that she felt like she knows all of us. Weird. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. An ability? May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. This better not just be another rank up on the Arcana thing, but it would make sense why that is, but still. It's not the way he's making it out to be. I feel it like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. It is. So, it is one of those. Super stock. Increase your... Increases your persona stock to 10 slots. Okay. So we can carry more. Seems like after every big boss, we get that increased. It's almost time. But it comes with a rank. Hmm. And it seems that Igor's ranking up is story related. We don't have to worry about that too much. Your Sai son's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? 
You are quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. Victims? What's the definition of victim here? You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Interesting way of putting it. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? <laughs> really? You may be right. Hitting on her now. Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. Hmm. You have such high self esteem. Rival? Black Mask? He was totally in Madarame's palace. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. I don't like the wording to that. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Yeah, but you never really cared about... Kamashita sexually harassing people and abusing people. Never cared about Madarame plagiarizing and abusing his pupils, even though you were possibly in his palace. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I. Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. How passive-aggressive. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. What's starting soon? Why does everyone get on my case? They're doing a pretty good job of making her out to have weakness. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Wait, what? This one night? And you're going back to the dorms? Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. True. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. Okay. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? Obviously. My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. Come on. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because 
He reminds me of my old self. Aww. That's all? It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor. He must have felt something for you, too. Besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart, either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Wait, that is the real one. Because it has the baby in it. Or Yusuke in it. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. Wow. This is almost like... What is it called? Customizing your own place. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. Except everything that we're customizing the place with means something from each mission. I'll come again. Hey! You're finally awake. Where's Yusuke? He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. You're finally up. You know it's past noon. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left his painting before he took off, though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Don't sell it. I want to say it, but I don't think they're selling it. Hmm. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. But still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, Go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner str struggle, I decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I've entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sajiro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. Yes, I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. Honey. Hey, it's Sunday. No wonder we can do all this. Hey, hey. So Yusuke went home, huh? Oh well, guess that's the best. Yo, I just checked, uh, checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about... Burglars using the Phantom Thieves name. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother suddenly... My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. 
You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The Post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there are, there even are in Shibuya. Damn, things are really starting to get serious. I'm so flattered! Gina, you're late, but here, thank you for resubbing three months now. Hey, you're in Alola Ninetales now. The sub badge. What should we do? I guess I'm interested. Although, how exactly will we go about investigating this? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night to catch them all red-handed. No way, the police will... The police... The police to totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, if they target restaurants... Aha! What if he, we drew them to LeBlanc? What? Hmm. There's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? <laughs> Rude. Wouldn't th that cause a lot of trouble for boss? LeBlanc... LeBlanc targeted. Seems like a viable plan to me. It's a horrible idea. <laughs> yup. I mean, I mean, you'd get kicked out of LeBlanc if we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I had forgotten. Yeah, dude, you don't want that ruined. It's a pretty badge. Thank you. Flamescar made it. TG Flamescar. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posting, uh, posing as us in the future. I wish there were was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information wherever possible, though. Yeah... I'm gonna try looking for stuff too. As you will. Hey! Can't believe you just went home without telling us, although that tactlessness is very Yusuke. Wait, what? There's something I'm missing? On? Be honest, am I actually getting stronger? I've been working really hard, but I haven't noticed any change. Anyway, would you mind hearing me out again? Are you free today? I feel I can become closer with On thanks to the lover's persona. Leon on side. Ooh. So once you get a persona that matches the Arcana, you can grow closer to them? So what do you think? Will you spend time with Lady On? Frick yeah! Thanks! Then I'll see you at Inokashira Ino Park. Hey! Oh! Look at those ducks over there! They must be a family! This place seriously feels amazing! It's not even that far from Shibuya, but it feels so different here. Hey. Yeah, you need to pay for yours soon, but it's either new glasses or that, but he works so hard on it and you don't know what to do. I see. Well, has he already- oh, you already said it. He's worked on it so hard. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to 
tell you. I mean, glasses are important, but paying him back is also important. I don't know. You know, Tokyo is so strange. There are tons of people and tons of stores, yet there are still duck-filled parks here too. It has everything, but it feels like I can't understand any of it. It's honestly scary. Hmm. That comes down to you. Yeah, and that's what scares me. It's nobody's fault but mine. No, you know what you're doing, just talking. Oh, okay. Good deal. When I first got here, I had a super tough time adjusting. It's so crowded and everyone walks really fast. Almost like they're angry or something. Even at school, I was only ever the foreigner. Nobody really knew me. They just spread rumors. I thought maybe my looks were the problem. I even considered dyeing my hair black to match everyone else. But that was when Shiho talked to me. The first thing she said was, The Kamiki-san, your painting sucks. <laughs> what? Was she right? Most def she most definitely was not. I don't think they sucked, at least. I ended up getting a D in art, though. I wonder why. You're obviously getting the badges super glue. With hold your glasses for a while. Oh, okay. Still, that was the first time someone here talked to me without mentioning my looks. We sort of just grew closer after that, and Shiho's been my best friend ever since. That's not why we're here, though. There's something else I need to talk to you about. Hey! Do you remember what I told you the last time we came here? About that female thief in the anime I used to watch. Well, I thought of something. It's gonna knock your shoes off. Um. Or socks off. You know the how the villains in those shows are always going on about world domination? Well, even though they get beaten up beaten by the heroes every time, they never give up. That means they must have really solid hearts. And that's why I'm going to try and learn from them. You're gonna learn from the criminals? How exactly? About that. Plus you rarely go out for anyone to see your glasses. Fair enough. Yes! I'm gonna star in action movies. Okay. That works. As long as you're not gonna be criminal. These are all sarcastic. Or mean. I want to go with one of these. You haven't learned anything. What? But they might cast me as a villain. Alright. I'm making this my ultimate goal for the future. You know, I've never really thought much about what I wanted to do in life. But now I have an objective. Thanks. And that only happened because of talking to you, Jake. Thanks. I sense a heightened motivation from On. On acting? Oh no. <laughs> Rank four, baby. All right. We did all of this in like three streams. Well. If I want to be in action movies, I'll need to work on my actions. 
your actions? I don't think that's correct. How about acting? Maybe it's right. I wonder how many sit-ups I'll have to do. Wait, Rigi said he knows a good gym. I should ask him for advice. Oh yeah. Oh, I need to tell Shiho that I have a new goal. She'll definitely be happy to hear that. Come on, let's head home. Let's jog to the station. I don't like that. They should just say what it says. In the dialogue box. Bubba. Ah, you're back. Goodness me. So what do you want to do about our next big target? Well, that's sudden. Well, after what that guy said, sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. You're right. You're... Wait. You're talking about Akechi-kun, right? I know how you feel. Ah, oh, the high school detective. He'd have to shut up if we changed another person's heart. Perhaps. Definitely. You think a movie on action won't be action but comedy? Oh man, you're mean, Gina. But he did mention that the police are starting to mobilize. Either way, I don't think we should leave a catchy kun be. I think I don't think. Okay, I was right. This is the perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy should be going forward. Let us gather at the hideout tomorrow. Hmm? We'll grow stronger soon. Wait, I want to read what he said. Next time, then. Hmm? You finally interested in coffee brewing? If you'll help, I can teach you. I feel like my bond with Sojiro will, gr will grow stronger soon. What are you going to do? Will you help the chief out? Help him out. Yeah. I know you're not mean, Gina. Just sarcasm. Then you clean up. I'm going to finish preparing the curry. All right then. And that's it for tomorrow's curry. Hey, how's it going? You getting any better at remembering how to handle different bean types? Now then, there are three factors that determine the flavor for a cup of coffee gr grind, heat, and time. First up is the grind. For the siphons we have here, we're aiming for medium fine. Are you listening to me? What grinder are you supposed to use? Right, keep up the good work. It doesn't net much profit given the effort it takes, but hey, money is money. I'm not gonna forgive you if you serve our customers crap coffee though. Just remember that. I know you're being honest. Gina. Who could this be? Yes, hello. How did you get this number? No, where? Fine. Sorry. Something just came up. We can keep going with the lessons some other time. You don't want my help anymore. Is it a date? If only. Just do the dishes while I'm gone. Oh, and remember to shut off the gas before you close up shop. It's nice having someone around to help at times like this. Turns out you're actually a harder worker than I thought. Keep it up. You're just seeing one side because you're in love. 
Fair enough. Is that a new emote from Keyblade Sarah? It looks nude. I feel like my bond with Sojiro is growing deeper. Yes! Alright. The rest is on you. Okay, I'm off. Don't eat all our food while I'm gone. Yep, swoon. Nice. Hey, went up to 19. And, and okay, up and down, up and down. Hi. Fancy seeing you here. I didn't think we used the same station. Meeting here must be fate. How are you doing? Hmm. There is yes. a good reason. Response. I've been getting interviewed a lot lately, so I've been wondering how to answer such questions. I suppose it is best to simply be yourself and say what you think. You've given me much to consider. If it isn't too much trouble, may I speak with you again sometime? Ah, uh, kids these days. So I handed a bill over at the convenience store, and they told me they don't take foreign currency. But what I gave them was a bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me young people these days don't know who Hirobumi Ito is. I shudder to think that these will be the people shouldering Japan's economy. I hope you all know your stuff. Here's a quest, just to make sure. Hey, Knight. You know it, right? Paper money is issued by the Bank of Japan, but who issues the coins? Wait. It's one of these two, ain't it? Or it's a trick question and it's still the Bank of Japan. I'm gonna cheat. I was right. I said it was either one of these two. Exactly. Unlike paper money, coins are issued by the government. Originally, the government made both coins and paper money. However, with the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. An independent organization, namely the Bank of Japan, has been tasked with printing paper money since. You're so happy to have the three months here, though. Hard to believe you've been subbed for three months already. Yeah. But that's amazing as well. All right. Coins, which don't have as much of an effect on the economy, are still produced by the government. You simply can't trust a moron to look after your finances. The best they can manage is pocket change. That was a shot at the government. Being able to get as much money as you want whenever you want it. <sighs> I hope the next palace is somewhere awesome like that. Foreshadowing. Hmm. <clears throat> what are we gonna do today? Oh. oh good, you haven't gone home yet. I don't have enough Listen. voices for all these characters. Nijima-san's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Yeah, I don't understand. Jeez. Telling me that isn't going to get you out of this. The student council room is on the third floor next to the library. Got it? Ugh. Why 
am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Hey. Najima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? What could she want? I don't know. Might not be good. On the third floor. Last item. Wait, they did lose an item? Oh, I can still talk to her. Let's see. Good here. Oh, I can't respond. Where's the log? Got the logs. Okay then. Frick. I don't even know where the library is. Student council room, okay. And this is the library. Didn't even know where I was going, but okay. But she mentioned a lost item. I must have misunderstood something. This is the student council room. What were we called here for? This is rather strange. You have so many emotes now. How many people are you subscribed to? If I may huh. ask. Earlier than expected. Are they going to keep up the whole dialogue thing? Have a seat. Sounds like it. I'll get straight to the point. Thank you. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. How does she know? Eight people? Wow. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. She didn't record it. Oh, that's why. This is what I was talking about yesterday, Gina. About holding her hostage. doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? How about you join us and see? Come on. Even in times like this, I'm still like, I need to be honest. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? That sounds like a criminal, Jake. Aren't the Phantom Thieves criminals? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. <sighs> There's like five of us, but... Three works. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. They're supposed to be seeking justice? I know. <laughs> but I thought I said la yesterday that we can keep her held hostage and then take her to a palace or something with us or something just to I don't know prove what we do if 
you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. Oh, God. But we have to tell her the truth. Right? And what about her sister? Her sister is interviewing us in the present. This is all in the past. So if you, duct, if you deduct all of that, then that means she might be telling the truth here. You'll tell me, won't you? Jake, what kind of strain would that put on a person with no persona? Think about it. But everyone can have a persona, right? If they're awakened. That's what I learned from Ryuji. Not Ryuji. Yusuke. I like that answer so much, but... Yeah, we're gonna do it. That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Oh, fuck. Go ahead. Oh no, she's recording everything. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. Oh, I know he was unaware, but come on, dude. They're treating this so casually. It's horrible. No, not everyone can. Only certain people can. Oh. Well, then I misunderstood something. That idiot! He was unaware. As loud as always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Oh, no. Won't you take me to your friends? Oh, no. I guess it can't be helped now. Hey, she's technically taken us hostage. Now the roles are reversed. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? Oh no. What the, what the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On Takamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame. Why does she sound so natural when she says Kitagawa-kun? No, she's not. She's blackmailing you, not taking you hostage. Same thing! Kinda. Not really. I wanted to ask you all about this. No. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame. While those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? You hear my what cat meowing? She wants my attention. Maybe you didn't hear anything at all, and I'm just crazy. Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. So you did hear my kitty, Gina? Good, then I'm not crazy. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Thank you. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. They are using you. Watch her say, I know. I... 
I know. How did I know that? <laughs> That's amazing. Huh? What? Another KBS pat? Oh, I like that one as well. With the uh, charity. Oh my goodness. That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. And like I said, join us and then you can be just. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Want to see your emos? Of course. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change? What? There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. She's giving us our next target. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. Aha! <laughs> Oh, it still feels like we're walking into a trap. <laughs> However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. <gasps> On the roof, where she last kicked us out of. It all comes first full circle. And I always knew that Lucy Hartfelia's voice actor would never be a villain. Assuming you accept my offer. Oh god, em Gina. I almost said, oh god, emotes. You meant all of your emotes that you have. I thought you meant just your personal ones. <laughs> My goodness. Wait, what did she say? Assuming you accept my offer, that is. This <sighs> is turning into a real pain. She's gonna become one of us. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. I mean... Yeah... But On was kind of careless as well. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? Thank you, Ryuji. I'm on your side. Just because I like her doesn't mean I can't call her out. I've already done that with Susie. I'm so sorry. You only have access to those? You feel like you need more emotes? Oh no. <gasps> hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. Is it, though? And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Yeah, that's fair enough. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. That's what I was thinking. Hey, she just said something I said earlier. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation. Hey, bye -bye. Bye -bye. Gina, I thought you were Mate J. Because <laughs> normally Mate J is the one scaring me with those. But thank you. Now will the real mate J please stand up? Oh, I need to hear this again. Because they say, this guy. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation after all. Regardless... Ah, uh, no. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then, we have no other choice but to go along with it. 
Yeah. Yes. It's best we agree, at least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. And never make another mistake. Yeah, yeah. My bad. So, we doing this? If everyone wants to. All right. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? But what about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That's right. He doesn't go to the same school. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. I know, Gina. They can't say your name because it's different for everyone. I know, but why did why do they have to say this guy? <laughs> Isn't there a better way of mentioning us? What could she be scheming? Like you named him Axel, yeah. I'm so effing pissed. Do we just gotta do what she says? Considering what has happened, it seems we have no other choice. I wonder whose heart the student council president would want us to change. Don't matter to me. But there might be a reason behind who she picks, right? Let's turn her down. Uh uh. I am curious. She mentioned how she wants us to prove our justice, did she not? Yeah, she definitely did. Then there must be some reasoning behind her choice. Please contact me immediately if you find anything out. And don't go picking any fights, okay? Do you understand, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? I ain't dumb. What else should I think? Please don't take <laughs> Astro, lurk hard, play hard. Thank you, Astro. Hey! Be careful. She's a shrewd one. We best not be prepared for anything. Aww. Said there's someone whose heart she wants to change. Just what is that girl up to? It's probably like her dad or uncle or her sister's boyfriend. I'm trying to think. On another playthrough, you named them Roxas. <laughs> Dang. You know, that is one thing about this game is that they don't let you choose gender. So you're basically forced to play as a guy. And you named him Riku. You named him every boy name out of the Kingdom Hearts series, huh? Well, since things got to this point, we'll just have to prepare ourselves and deal with it. We'll see our way through this somehow. Some cash? Got a job you could do. People said when they made a request there, it got granted. Really, that sounds super useful. Oh, come on, pay up. You understand the position you're in, right? That was probably a hint at who we're targeting. Yeah, except Donald and Goofy. <laughs> well, they are animals, not humans. So it would be weird. Hey! Hey, it's you! Morning! Going to school now? I'm just heading home. The morning sun is too bright.
Nope. I pulled an all-nighter. Journalist Ichiko Ohaya. Works around the clock, you know? Well, you work hard on your studies. Random. What the hell? I was thinking you might not show. We're here. We're here. Ray Wyatt impression. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A mafia boss. You named him Seto Kaiba in another playthrough? A mafia boss? Seto Kaiba? We just met Achiko. Can't even remember his name. Acheko Kun? Who I mentioned earlier, or yesterday's stream, that he was like Silver and his dad is Giovanni, which is the Mafia Box. And now we're gonna go into a palace with the Mafia Boss. <sighs> so, we're changing Giovanni's heart, supposedly. A catchy kun, yes. There it is. What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in fishing scams. Fishing? What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. Yep, that's exactly what we saw before heading in here. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. So they did that to you. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. You can't tell me what Akechi reminds you of? Why? I need to listen to it. It appears to that their victims include some of our students. I need to listen to that again. No. They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. Oh no. It's going to make it hard for us. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off, if you're really the righteous band of thieves. Oh, so this can come out as a double thing for us. Because if we can't prove that we can do it, then doesn't that mean that she's on a wild goose chase? Juno, because it would be too revealing. Okay. Fair enough. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Oh no. Can't you say something witty back at her? <laughs> Please don't tell the cops. Give us the details. <laughs> something witty, we're doing it. I knew you were gonna say that. I had to. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. All the information I have. You have two weeks. Two weeks? Wait, what? That's a shorter deadline than usual. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. Oh, shit. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> Don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, I like how they don't show the date of present tense. Student Council President from Shujin Academy? <laughs> She's surprised. Are you
Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? Your very own sister. Wait, why would we say some of these? Like this, you never noticed? That's something the player character, or the player would say. But I don't think the character that we're playing as actually knows that Sai is related to Makoto. Can't you just say I was pretending to be the Phantom Thieves because it's popular? True. I'm not. Huh? Why would Makoto? Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. But how would we know that you're her sister? At this point, we would have had to gotten enough information by this point to be able to make that deduction. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> we have... Two weeks. That gives us until like the 28th. Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. But still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for... There's a good deduction. Oh, right! That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. Alright, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. <laughs> He's always a computer geek. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. Oh, really? You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? Yeah. I'll back you up. Alright, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. Wait, wait. At the end of the week, but we have two weeks. Don't waste my time anymore. Then it needs to be. Okay. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find something new. Hey. Could I have a moment? What's up? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayuri. So if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Is this how we get... Indeed. The Arcana with him? Has Ryuji forgotten no one at school wants to talk to you because of your record? Yeah... Ah, oh, the Sayuri. Seems to suit the cafe quite well. 
I'm glad I chose to leave it here. <sighs> Jake, I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. To put it bluntly, I am in no need I am in need of your assistance. Please listen to what I must say. Hmm. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, those struggles came to pass on each occasion. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we see in the in what in, we in the art world call a slump. To tell the truth, are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such converted or such covet, coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had my, in mind was the pursuit of pure booty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to as, as, wait, attain the lustrous allure of the Sayuri in my own wor work. Oops. Yet what reason do I have now holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move, and the resulting work reflects my such impurity of mind. To be honest, I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. My apologies. It seems I got car somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is my way. I am so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is. In essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end would be even more sinful. Hmm. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Jake, please look over. Please look over there at the Sayuri. Her incandescent figure. Alluring gaze, that is the meaning of pure booty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replace, replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs, because the soul differs. But if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What then is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. To be perfectly frank though, I am unsure of how, how to do so. Jake, would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you, of all people, may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I'm in your debt. You would? Wonderful. At the moment, my teacher has yet to notice my any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep into an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. See you. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. I walk to Yusuke to the station.
Come on. Rain, huh? We went through all of that and we don't even get his arcana. Rick, we need to do that. So I checked online and people are talking about it all over. Now in my, the, in my expert opinion, Lita, class 2D is guilty. You mean Lita-kun from our class? Wait, start at the beginning. What's he guilty of? Supposedly, he's been spending money left and right recently. Said it's because of some great plant, good, great part-time job he got. I see. That may very well be worth looking into. I know you told me how to, but I was hoping it came with the story. Right? Can you try asking? Can you try asking him it on? About it on? I don't think he'd be cautious around a girl. In that case, yeah, I don't mind giving it a try. Although, I've rarely talked to Lita Kun before. I'll be counting on you back to back me up if something happens, Jake. Thanks, that's a huge help. I'm hoping for some great things this time from Takamika from Takamiki san's world class wonderful acting. Shut it. I hope this will get us even marginally closer to their so called boss. I have this Lita I leave this Lita to you two. And I have high hopes for your acting as well, on. I trusted you, Gina. I trusted you. I was just hoping. <laughs> From because I didn't have the option or chance to go and meet him or do anything, so I was hoping that that one scene would just count it. You're both missing the point. Hey. <laughs> Is it true that Lita guy's guilty? Well, we'll need to dig up s some dirt first. Thing in the morning. Whoa, customers in LeBlanc. Customers in LeBlanc will go home after listening in on them a bit. Try doing so. Doing this when you need to do activities in the cafe. I don't know how that came up, but okay. Yeah. I was watching television and came across a discussion about the nature of justice. Have you ever given any thought? What is justice to you? I did have the option before I got my first part-time job. You spoke to him, then declined him. Oh, frick. That did happen, didn't it? I wasn't even thinking about it. But I meant currently, like today. I haven't gotten the option to do so. Because before that, I didn't know that was the case. I see, that's one way to look at it. But you but you only perceive what is on the very surface. The boy who was featured in that TV discussion is in high school. A catchy, was it? He was well-spoken and skilled in the art of debate, almost as good as I was at that age. So, you... so well, you catch my drift, right? Yeah, let's leave. We can't actually leave. Hey, we might actually have the chance now. Lol. Right now you are stuck in story. Are we? Are we though? Frick. What are your thoughts? 
So feel right at home. Or no, Becco. <laughs> Night, daily, Shibuya, Central Street. But you might... It seems tough, but you might improve your proficiency. Let's apply. Okay. Hello, this is Aura. Aura Nobeko on Central Street. How many people are you ordering for? Oh, you're calling about the job opening. This is great timing. We're in need of some extra hands. I'd take just about anyone at this point. You don't mind working at night, do you? Stop by anytime you're free to work. Central Street. Well, let's go to him now. And make some money. Some arcanas are optional. I don't like that. I want them all to be story based. It's a convenience store. No. Drugstore. Rosane. Nope. No. Beef bowl shop. Come to think of it, you applied for a part time job at this beef bowl shop. Working at this beef bowl shop will cause time to pass, but in addition to receiving money, your proficiency will improve. Some days, you will need to remember many orders at once. Try to stay calm. If you can make it through the rush, you may receive more money than usual. They are, but not at the same time. They mention everyone who is an Arcana, but it's up to you to start the Arcanas. I see. Time for work? Alright. Not wasting my time. I've been expecting you. Oh, you're the new part timer. Right, I've been expecting you. No need to introduce yourself. I actually need you to start working right away. Do you have any questions about the job? Not quite. Our budget's been cut despite being short staffed. So you'll have to do everything alone. Now. You're a spry young dude, right? You'll be fine. I'll pay you more to make up for the extra work. Anything else? Take customers' orders, prep them, serve them, ring them up, and then clean the store. The meals are already made, so it should be simple. Just make sure you're nice to the customers, okay? I'm counting on you. Okay, I need to head out for a bit. Keep an eye on the shop until I get back. Mm. They already mentioned one I missed. Ooh. This job is ludicrous. You have to do everything all by yourself from the very beginning? Oh well, just give it your best shot. I guess I'll be cheering you on. That customer in front of you is waiting to pay. Oh, that one is... That is one angry looking face. Hey, someone wants to change their order and add an egg? They should have told us earlier. Nice job. All right, good work. You can leave now since it's the end of your shift. This is your pay today, thank you. Well, I hope you can keep it up. You can help me if, you, if I want. Yeah. I can't tell who else I could have an arcana with. Man. But are you okay? You were all alone out there this whole time. But you still managed all those orders by yourself. If you ask me, you're pretty proficient. <laughs> All right. 
Let's head back. Come on, let's sleep. Do you want do I want you to discord me about it? Yes. Sure. Hey! We were able to grab a seat. Sweet. The great thief. Hmm? Tonight I will be taking the Phantom Diamond. Mm. Ah, the legendary gentleman thief. Arson. It's hard not to idolize him. He's preeminent in our field. Hey, hey. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So how far did you get? Seems like I still have a few pages left. Oh, we're almost at the station. The rumors are pretty terrible. You think all that blackmail stuff is insane? I didn't think it had anything to do with me, but there are even victims in my class. Oh, I know all about that. These guys supposedly come asking if you want an easy high paying job but then if you say yes you get dragged into some real shady business the teachers or student council pres will do something about it though people are really worried oh are you talking about that posting i wonder if she was serious about it i heard she knew about kamashita and the sexual harassment she probably won't be too much help Okie doke. That Lita guy is here. I'll try asking. I'll try and ask him about it. Leave it to me. That level of motivation actually makes me a little more nervous. In any case, let us know if you learn anything. I just like how we text in class and she's right in front of us. Hey! Najima-kun, what is going on here? Apparently the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought th I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved in with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from the Guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy, if it were to be discovered. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? Um. I, I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you. You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. <laughs> From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? <laughs> really the greatest disgrace? Okay then, one word. Kamashita. I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Some of the time I want to give her kind of a robotic female voice. How tragic. But then others, not so much. Before I realized it, we're halfway through June. It's the only month of the year with no holidays, and it's filled with rain, truly a season of hell. I'm exaggerating, you say. Haha, <laughs> you're just all ignorant. After all, what's falling from the sky is the acid rain that can melt metal. 
Nankun, let's test your knowledge and imagination. Give it a try. What would happen if you keep washing your hair with water? That's contaminated with metal. It'll change color. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. By the way, your hair will turn green if the metal is copper, or red if it is rust. However, acid rain can't melt gold or silver. If you want to dye your hair gold, use bronze coins. Thinking you could save money by skipping a visit to the hair salon? Seems you still don't understand the horror of acid drain. London once had, an, had acid rain on the level of stomach acid. More than 4,000 people died. Perhaps one day such a deathly rain will fall upon Japan. My heart, too, is overcast. Just like the rain that falls on the city. Oh, rain. <sighs> I'm tired of thinking up witty comments. <laughs> Oh, that was funny, Morgana. Hey! Lydian's going to talk to Lita. You're gonna back her up, right? Well, yeah. Cool. Hold on. We should stick to our battle plan. How's Lydian doing? Wait, where is she? Oh, she's right there. Right up mm -hmm. front. Sorry for asking you so suddenly. And so, I really need some money right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Lita Kun. Please. You don't need my help. Girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um, now that you mention it, yes. What I mean is... <sighs> this is going south fast. <laughs> oh, Francois. Huh? Hey, wait! Hey, what are you... Um... M my cat, Francois, got run over by a car and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? Um. If, if Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Probably. Come on, don't talk to me like... Don't talk like that. You don't mind, do you? If you don't like it, then I'll... Then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard rumors... Rumors? Was it Nishiyama? Who? Huh? Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey. hey! What was that about Nishiyama? That's... That's she actually incredible. got the momentum. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Wait, is that his name? Come on, let's leave this guy to on and go look for that... Nishiyama got fellow. Hey, what, how did it happen again? Oh yeah. Wait, so are we trying to find Nishiyama? I'm so confused. Hey. You have a minute? Um, You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Huh? 
Ichiyami, he usually hangs out with Lita. Oh, so you want to ask him about Lita? So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. Sorry. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays late. Stays till late. So I think he's probably still somewhere in school. Oh. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Mm. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishimama. Nishiyama. Whereabouts? Can you think of anyone who might know? What about you? Nainkun, is President Nijima keeping an eye on you? He's on edge. Hurry up. Do you have anything you want to ask about? The principal asked us for to come forward with the inf with any information we might have, right? We heard someone did come to the student council saying they were being threatened. Oh, I had to yawn and stretch. I don't want to assume this of you, but you didn't have anything to do with that, right? I heard the mugging, scams, prostitution, and drugs are making them tons of money. Most of their victims have been high schoolers, leading our school to warn its students as well. But nobody actually knows how they operate. Even the police are completely lost. Lita Kuhn from our class? I've heard he's a serious student. Although he has seemed a little down lately, I wonder what happened. Nishima-kun? Are you looking for him? He's a really serious student with great grades. I always see him at the library after school. The library is just up on the floor above this one. Why don't you go talk to him? I was gonna guess it was in the library. says that. Hey, it is. Mishima, that's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? Lita, how do you know about that? Are you doing something to him? He's been acting really strange lately. What? What do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in some something shady? One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked me if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Lita was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. Uh, um, I don't know. I was so scared I ended up going home alone. But according to Lita, it only takes 10 minutes and, and is good for people who don't stand out. Lita started spending a lot of money. That's when his, his strange behavior began, too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? Mm. A man on Central Street, huh? How suspicious. That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes. What good timing. Have you found out anything, Jake? I have tried looking into this high-paying part-time job myself. People seem to be talking about it here as well. Supposedly a man will talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street. And your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. Well, I will contact you again if I learn anything more. So that means the, this part-time job is somehow crime-related. It takes ten minutes, it's good for people who don't stand out, and it involves a small envelope. Well. Does that ring any bells? It's something that the Mafia would definitely be up to. Oh. 
Like illegal drugs? Maybe they made Lita smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with the small envelope, and you can get arrested for just for possession. Did you meet Nishima? Nishiyama? Well, I looked into Lita on my own anyway. Rumor has it, he got involved in some kind of suspicious part-time job. And that job is apparently totally insane. Something about trafficking drugs, I think? I hear they ask you to take part in it down on Central Street in broad daylight, even. For real? So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. I'll ask Lita directly. Hey! Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved friend Kois. <sighs> She's still doing that. Alright, take over for her. Nine? Come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. He did? That bastard. Damn it. Shit, well. If you already know about it, fine. But I didn't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. Like the rooftop? Oh. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? Not your kind of job. You're a pizza smuggler? I'm offended. How did you... I've only told one person about that. Of all people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? No, we're here to save you. I see. Well... Even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. How'd it go? Did Ahn's acting help at all? I'm thinking probably not. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything, Jake? So they ask you to deliver drugs. That's serious. I just searched for Shibuya drugs and got tons of hits too. So they're making... So they're making people traffic drugs, then threatening them? That must be why... That must be what I heard people talking about in Shibuya. They seem to be going about this quite openly during the daytime. What bold methodology. I wouldn't... I would have imagined they would do it at night. I wonder what, why they chose the day. Because it's a bit too obvious? At night? They go for high schoolers, that's true. But they also need to blend in. 
I see. Yes, more students will be out during the day, while the police will be more cautious at night. Ryuji, you're over in Shibuya now, right? Did you see anyone like that there? Yeah, I'm on Central Street. It's tough to tell, though. I mean, there, there are just way too many people. The goddamn rain's not helping out either. The sun will be setting soon. What should we do, Jake? We have to wait until tomorrow? Yeah, that seems like our only choice now. We can split up and search separately tomorrow. In any case, we have some new intel. Let us call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on that job should know who their boss is too. Alright, I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight and we can come up with a plan. Come on, we only have like 12 days now. <sighs> I thought I, had actu I actually had a customer, but it's just you. I never get any customers when it rains. The cash register is going to run dry at this rate. We have to find them tomorrow for sure. This is the only lead we have right now. See, you locked in story. I know. Yes, it is highly likely that this part-time solicitor is somehow related to the Mafia. If we tell him, he may lead us straight back to his boss. He talked to Lita and Nishiyama over at Central Street, right? Indeed, it seems that is where our target waits. But then, who should be the one to go? Morgana, I choose you! <laughs> Wait, what? It was a joke. That's not a bad idea. Cats have nine lives, right? Morgana can spare one for this. Wouldn't the Mavia get caught off guard if they had a cat coming to deliver drugs for him? <laughs> In other words, Jake will be going. I have no objections. Tricking people and using that as blackmail. These bastards are true cowards. It's kind of scary to think people like that are all around this all around us in this city. Well guys, we gotta brace ourselves. We're up against a serious criminal here. You want to do a level one playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 3 so much? Why not? Hey, we can still study. Now listen up. Make sure you close up. Can I talk? What are your thoughts? <laughs> Not exactly stuck in... What you call it? But I could have gone to the bathhouse. It's raining out. And got some charm up. Whoops. Alright. At least we did something. Very effectively. Could it be the rain? Oh yeah, that's right. That works as well. All right. Yep. So humid. I get so stuffy in this bag. Train news, shady drug deals, and Shibuya. Alongside fishing scams, restaurant factory fire. Mm. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, something weird happened in the f in food service before, right? Some employee cooking naked. With all these extortions and scams, this world's really messed up. I don't get it. Saw Nijima hang arguing with the principal about the mafia or something. What was that all about? I hear her older sister's involved with the investigation. Maybe she's just trying to play detective too. Are you kidding me? I can't handle a student council president with no focus. She and the principal can both get lost. Yo. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting some them somehow. It will be quite difficult to figure out how, given the number of people around, though. Yeah! Right, we're gonna grab them by the tail. As we discussed yesterday, you should head over to Central Street, Jake. All right. Let's Sweet, get let's going. get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Mean Ryuji? It's funny how the principal expects a high school girl to stop the mafia, <laughs> right? Yes! Alright, let's go just as we planned. Might end up running into the mafia. Be ready for anything. Wait a second. That Najima? Makoto? But Makoto. Hello. Are you investigating here with your friends today? I hope something comes of it. I'll be counting on you. Mm. Is she following us? No, that can't be. Wasn't that one dude right here before? Mm -hmm. Once again, nothing to report. There are many people falling victim, yet no perpetrators. They appear and disappear, as they please. Not only that, shoot. Stop complaining if we don't. The media are already on our case. The higher ups aren't doing a thing. Bad for morale. We're meant to listen in. Oh yeah. Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much. I have a ton of I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price. What did she say? Hey, what are you? What about you? These are unforgettable deals. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Really? The shop's right over there. Just go take a look. Hey. Seems like some kind of sale. You should probably shouldn't bother. Hmm? Free to look as much as you want. It's fine by me. Let's get moving. Okay. wrong kid don't see guys like me very often hmm that's supposed to be some kind of password I have no idea what you're talking about I haven't been here long try to talking to someone else that ain't so easy I only know one guy around here sometimes I see him in the alley across the way but I don't think he's there today. He might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. See. Hmm, maybe this other person would know something. Apparently he's near the train station, so let's go look over there. Hmm? Train station over here. Do I have 
have to go into the train station. I'm confused. These guys. Hmm? What about this guy? No time for detours. Got it. Hmm? Have to go down there to the station. It's letting me. Oh, hi. Miss President's here. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all of this. Well, let's just ignore her if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things on your guys' end? Nothing so far. I'm going to try staking out the underground walkway. Then I'll check around the Inogami line. I guess I'll get there from the underground. I will gather some more intel in the underground shopping mall as well. Please continue on your end. Everyone's really going on about this seriously. They're definitely worth being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. What? Go back to him. I'm going the wrong way. Where am I? Okay, so another homeless man at the station. Hey, how are you? How are things going? A homeless person. I haven't seen anyone around any around here. There are a lot of people in this area. Maybe he's somewhere else. Okay. This place is huge. Underground mall. Ryuji's here. Yo, you made it. So how did you find... So did you find anything out? So you're telling me we're supposed to be getting info from a homeless guy. Well, I think I've seen one underground, right near the instruction area. Instruction area. How long is stream today? I just have about another 20 minutes for whenever we can get a chance to quit. Seems to just be keep go keep on. Let's turn back. The heck? Where's the construction area? Oh, we can go up. Oh. What's up with that scary look on your face? If you have something to say to me, so just say it. Part-time job? You're not talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice, don't do it. They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. That mafia is evil, I tell you. 
They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area r around now. But just so you know how, who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use some weird phrases, code names, you know. That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. How's it going? Have you found anything? Ah, oh, so you've grasped something already. That's to be expected of someone like you. Why don't we just go over to the intel we've gathered so far? I'll start. Supposedly some guy near the access way talking about some kind of strong drugs. I'm not counting on anything, but I'll check it out. As for me, I heard about someone soliciting as a soliciting a high paying job in the station plaza. Apparently they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what's it, what it's about. On my end, I heard there are people saying strange things in the black ba in the back alley near the arcade. Something about ice and vegetables and something about snow tomorrow. I will go observe, just in case the arcade is on Central Street, correct? Okay. Alright, we should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. I'm trying to go to the most suspicious sounding place. Most suspicious sounding place. So we have access way. Station Plaza in Central Street. Just finally over. I got feel awful. I drink a shit ton. Maybe I should find a new job. You know, any opportunities for quick making quick money? You mean all those sneaky guys in the back alleys? You'd probably have to swindle some kids. God, I could never be a pusher. I don't want to get arrested. Ah, Yusuke. I was simply wondering where the arcade is. I'll be going now. Arcade? You're a high school student, aren't you? Better not be looking for trouble. All kinds of shitty activities happen at arcades. What are you talking about? Not it's nothing more than a place to go to play games. Take it down the guy at the station, then please stop talking to me. I don't want to get involved in Okay. Oh? I found something. Hello. Hello. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? Take it. That means no. Hey, dude. Hey, you two got some time. I have a great job for you. We found him. It's really easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. <laughs> it seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah. Don't you want? So something more than just your allowance. Hey. Hmm, by delivery, 
Do you mean that of suspicious materials? Can't. <laughs> You're a funny girl. Hmm. So you won't answer me? Then I was right. What? What's up with you anyway? Why are you asking all these questions, hmm? Oh? Damn! It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyway, I can't hang. See ya. Yes, games are shady. You learned a lot. <sighs> you failed. Uh, um... If you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. Shut up! You're really gonna say that knowing who he is? Yeah, <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, if I'm out of here, you guys are annoying me. How suspicious. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. I mean... I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. All right then. I'm going to go now. Frick! Hmm. Boss seems tricky. It looks like he's taught his subordinates well. Just saying how dumb that cop was saying. Yusuke, that the arcade is shitty. Shady? Yeah, I know. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that, that hooligan. And... Though, we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. What? No! Come on. You're just gonna keep doing this? Wasting our days? How about it? Wanna meet up? Do you think it's safe though? We did ask tons of people, so there's a chance we're getting followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. The sun will be setting soon, so let us disband for today and report our, on our findings tomorrow. Why don't we meet at karaoke tomorrow? We can talk in private. And it'll be cheap after school. Ah, oh, that must be what they call hustle hour. Dude, it's muscle hour. Wait, is that wrong too? Um, hello? It's happy hour? Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. Well, crap. Hey, it's Thursday evening. Oh, God. It's an unknown number. Hello? Nankun, this is Najima. Makoto Najima? Thanks for earlier. I dug it up. I'm sorry. I realize I'm apologizing, apologizing after the fact, but I didn't feel right keeping it from you. So all right then. That's all. Bye. The hell? That's all. Hey. Bye. You talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Oh. Speaking yes. of, some girl called looking for you around noon. She said she's the class president. She said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. I see. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address, trying to contact you. That Najima sure is thorough. Mm. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird. Maybe she's not so bad after all. Hmm... Bathhouse, here we come. I can just quick travel over there. I keep forgetting that. And it's raining? 
Ooh, buddy. charm all right want to head back is it just me or are there a ton of police here today got a job you could do want to hear me hear more any another psychotic breakdown oh you mean how they're increasing security in Shibuya. They're the scum of society. Hurry up and arrest them. Guys, we only have like 11 days now. Hi. So we meet again, but my, what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thieves' defense incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? I see. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activities due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Not important right now. And we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean change our target? Oh God, no. Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? have no talent yeah and it's really distracting never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing anyways I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off but that's exactly why we should do it it all comes down to Intel in the end If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. Someone think for me. <laughs> what about the media? That's right. What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about her. Didn't she give you her card? Wow. I didn't even think of that. The business card says Ichiko Ohaya of 
Mayasa newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Ah, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <laughs> Why? <coughs> oh, no. <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Hey, you've been coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose into other people's business. <sighs> the chief says smart, sharp as ever. But it's more like we're the ones being dragged into things. Okay, it is a time of reprieve. Well, I thought we would get into our next target by now, but I guess not. Because it is almost nine. Let's do it. My voice is tired. This is our first sir save of this stream. It's been six days. Holy. <sighs> thanks, Night Jake. Thanks for the stream. You're welcome. Thank you for the resub. And I know you weren't here for the beginning of it, Gina, but for everyone else, sorry I came in at kind of a delayed time and for being in a bad mood, but playing through this did make me feel better. And I do not regret it. Okay. Always every month you will resub. Aww. I know, Gina. Thank you very much. <sighs> okay. Let's get out of here. We'll be back with this tomorrow. Hopefully we can get our next target. I mean, we know who he is. We just have to find him. However, let's find someone to raid. <laughs> was talking about however, let's find someone to raid and then I wrote out however in the chat. That's hilarious. You like supporting your friends? So do I. Thank you. Oh, I'm a bit exhausted. time for you now good me too maybe I still need to go to the gym though man who can we raid oh Konami are you going live soon if you're still here are we even friends on Twitch? Or not? I'm gonna change that.
in bed soon. You've been going to sleep early lately. That might be a good thing. Looks like we will be raiding Astrobatic tonight. Okay. I've done enough typing today. And just typing in chat is already telling me, hey, you need to get off <laughs> the computer. But yeah, we're gonna raid Astrobatic. Let's give him a Polyaco raid. And we will see you tomorrow for more P5. Thank you and good night, everyone.